I'm not sure if y'all know, but recently um, Apple came out with a, a with a interesting piece of open source, um, which that's not something I say very often. Apple open source, like that's not something you hear very often. But they recently came out with a you know with a piece of open source uh, um, um, software that that I actually am finding to be interesting. So they came out with this uh, configuration programming language thing called Pickle, P-K-L. Um, and uh, dare I say, Pickle is better than JSON and YAML put together. Whoa. How does it compare to Q? You know, that's the first, that's the, that's, that's the first <laughs> comparison I made in my mind. I'm like, hmm, Q-Lang. So I, I'm going to compare those two and report back. Um, matter of fact, I'm actually trying to put the episode together with the um, core contributors from, from Q. Um, maybe I'll also ask them when they come on the show and say, hey, you know, now you've got uh, uh, seemingly some some competition. Um, if, you know, I think they're trying to solve, um, maybe there's some more nuance to, to QLang, um, but uh, uh, the, the, they seem, they could potentially be solving they could have an overlap in the kind of problems they're solving. Um, so yeah, I need to dive a little deeper. But I watched a video uh, on it. I read some of the documentation. I'm like, you know what? This is I, this actually makes sense. This actually makes sense. In the same way, I'm like when I was looking at Q, I'm like, you know what? This actually makes sense. So so we shall see where we land on that. Mm-hmm.